Hi there, this is Tilly from O Tilly Styled Stock Photography and I just wanted to show you a quick Canva tutorial on how you can create a really cool logo for free. Um, I know when you start a business sometimes it's really hard to come up with cash flow, um, especially for things like logos. They are important so I do, do say that you should always hire a designer for important things like this but I understand that sometimes when you're in a tight bind and you really just need something quick and easy that um, this can be a really great solution. So once you're in the Canva homepage, sign up with an account. You can use Facebook to sign up. It's so easy and quick. Um, jump onto the create a design button and you'll come up with this screen. Click on logo. It appears up there for me because I've used it before, but it should actually pop up down here for you. Right, so you click on that, create a logo, come up with a blank template. Lots of different layouts you can choose from already ready made logos. Or you can create your own from scratch, adding your text pieces and your elements for icons and a different background. But I'm going to start by using one that already exists because that makes it so much easier. Um, often they'll have two different fonts in them that go really well together. That's all one font. <laughs> uh, that's all one font as well. How come everyone I click on has got just one font? There we go. That's got two different fonts and they go really well together. So... Um, I might start with this one because it's actually really cool. Um, first of all, I'm going to get rid of the background. I'm going to delete that element because I prefer it to be white to go with the rest. I'm going to pop in uh, a different name. This is completely fictional. This isn't a real person. I'm just making it up. So when you resize everything, you get these purple dotted lines that come up when you're centered. So they help you to make sure everything is even and, and centered on the page. Okay, right on. Don't worry about that, we'll just resize that to fit. Now I want that centered in within its thing. So you've got your font alignment up the top there. I'm gonna go with 42. Yep, that's perfect. Um, and this imaginary person that I've just made up is not a hairstylist. She's going to be a travel blogger. How's that sound? Why is it not letting me type? Whoops. There we go. That's lined up. And we're going to pop something around that an element. Let's go to the shapes section. Now if you look at these shapes here, these are a solid colour. So if I put that over that, it's going to create a solid button. I don't want that. I want something that's see-through. So these are all see-through with just an outline. These are an outline with a solid colour, so they're two two colours. That one's actually three. No, two colours, yeah. Um, these are one, one colour solid. I could do that, um, but I'd prefer to have one that's see-through. Okay, I'm trying to go for shapes here. Right, hang on. I've got to close this. Why is that still open? Uh, sometimes it does that, but it's showing me fonts. I don't want fonts, guys. I want shapes. There we go. That's better. I want something cool for a travel blogger. Look, it's the Deathly Hallows. <laughs> Almost. Okay, I might go with... Go back to the original one that we had, but... It's not going to be on a black background. There we go, that's centered in the image. It's not centered on the V though. There we go, that's perfect. And then you have a logo. That was very, very quick and easy. I'm just going to download that and save it. It's very easy. That's now saved onto my computer. But now I'm going to go and use my logo. So I'm going to create a social media post. We might go with a Facebook post. And I'm going to go, I want to show everyone my logo. Now I'm going to pop it on this. Beautiful background from Otilly Style Stock Photography Travel Series. 
I'm showing off that I'm a travel blogger with a really cool styled stock photo. <clears throat> to my own uploads. Now I can drag that onto the image. I'm going to swivel it around and resize it to fit in that lovely little frame. Not quite straight. There we go. Maybe a little bit bigger. There you have it. Now I'm going to save that one, down, download that to my computer as a JPEG, and I'm going to share it to Facebook to show everybody that I'm up and running in business as a travel blogger. Now that was so easy. Um, everything I did on here was free. Um, that beautiful photograph comes from the Otilly Styled Stock Catalog, which is at otilly.net. You can find heaps of other amazing images there with lots of mock-ups where you can add your logo or your own information to. And that's about it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at o hello at otilly.net um, and make sure to follow me on social media. My Instagram handle is at o o h underscore tilly, T-I-L-L-Y. Have a lovely day. Bye.